To get started, you want to take one of your strands of cords and match up the ends, and then you want to tie a temporary knot. So don't pull it too tight, just enough to keep the beads in place. And then run it through your fingers to find the centre. And then I'm taking a scrap piece of thin jewellery wire, but you could use anything. If you don't have jewellery wire, it doesn't matter. You could pick anything just to thread your beads on. And I'm just going to take the beads and I'm going to start adding them to the cord like that. So the knot at the bottom should stop them from falling off. So as you're beading, you can measure with a ruler if you want, or if you don't have a ruler to hand or you just want to do it another way, you can just measure it against your wrist or whatever you're going to be making your jewellery for. So you want a slight overlap of about an inch. This works for an adjustable one. If you're doing it with a button fastening or whatever, you may have to adjust your measurements a little bit more. But for mine, because it's going to be adjustable, a little bit of an overlap here is all I need. So once you've got all your beaded strands, you can just tie a tempering knot at one side so that you can clip it to the top of your board. And then you just want to braid as though you're doing a regular braid like you would with hair. So it's just a three-stranded braid like this. So you can make this as tight or as loose as you want, depending on how big your beads are. And then once you've done your braid, I'm going to put one cord out of the way at one side and one cord out of the way at the other side. And then I'm going to clip the rest to the bottom of the board. So I'm going to do a square knot to fasten everything together at the bottom, but you could just do a regular knot if you preferred. Once you've got that nice and secure, you can do the same thing at the other side. So once you're happy that everything is nice and tight, you can trim off your excess from the sides and you can seal. So I'm going to use a lighter to seal, but you could use glue if you prefer. And you want to do this at both ends so you end up with something that looks like this. So now I'm just going to reattach it to the board. I'm just going to braid the remaining tail ends just so I've got something to tie the bracelet on with. And again, you want to do this at both ends. And once you've braided your tie on end as long as you need, you can just tie a knot in all the cords to keep everything in place. And then like I did before, just trim the excess and then seal. And once you've finished, you should end up with something that looks like this. And that is your completed beaded braid friendship bracelet.